So I'm just taking a couple of photos of these birds here. Just some turn shots. I love turns, they're really photogenic. Again, using live view and manual focus. Yeah, that's nice. The focus is just so crisp <laughs> when you use um, live view. I think I'm dangling my camera strap in the water. So this, you can see these birds here. These birds here let you get really, really close, which is awesome. They're used to sort of humans a little bit coming out to hassle them, especially this particular human. <laughs> that one there is having a sleep on it. So I prefer getting down low, as low as you can get when you're taking photos of birds because you can see their environment in the background. You get the waves in the background, you get the seaweed in the foreground. It gives you a sense of, more of a sense of their environment, of where they are. And when you can get them peeking over the top of seaweed like this guy here, It's lovely. That's a little bit underexposed and I think my focus was slightly off. Make sure that you watch your exposure meter because when you move your camera, when you move your lens to a different position, obviously, your light changes. And you can hear that I'm taking multiple shots. I always use high speed. Sorry, I'm just watching a cormoran out there. I might have to go and photograph that one next. <laughs> I always use um, continuous shutter release, high speed. So you take multiple shots, you get sharper photos. I did a blog about that. I'll put a link in the video description. Just a couple more shots of this guy. And you can see how, hopefully you can see from back there how I'm leaning my camera on my leg. for a bit of extra stability. This is really hard to get the focus right here. It's hard because these rocks are really sharp, so you, it's good. It's best to find a flat surface to sit on or something soft. Maybe bring something with you like a towel or, a, or some padded thing that you can sit on. If you're on sharp surfaces like this, it makes it a lot easier. I could just stay here all day doing this. <laughs> I think I might. Okay, so you can see center of frame there right above my finger. There's the cormorant there. Now because the sun is over this direction, right, the sun's up there, I would not take a photo from here. Oh, no, I may. It's always best to put yourself between the sun and the animal that you're photographing. So, that you're not shooting into the sun, number one. And secondly, it gives you that nice catch light in the bird's eye. Someone on a paddleboard just catching a wave out there. And there, right above my finger there, is an egret. So, they don't let you get as close as um, the cormorants especially don't let you get as close, but... So yeah, when you're photographing a bird in full sun like this, make sure you have the sun at your back and the bird is in front of you. Most times. But because here I've kind of got... The sun is off to the left. If it was behind the bird, I wouldn't shoot. If it was right behind, I wouldn't shoot. But right from here is not too bad because it's off at a slight angle and I'd still get a catch light if the bird turns his head in the right direction. And there's so much life here in the rock pools. You don't really notice it. When you're walking around, you see all these mollusks on the rocks and you think that they're not moving because if you don't stand there and watch, they don't. But 
if you take a time lapse of this stuff, you can see there's, there's just activity. It's just a sea of life here. And there's so many things to see. Like last time we were here, not only did we rescue that turtle, but there was also an octopus, a little octopus over in a pool over there too. So, you know, there's so much life all around you at every moment and you've really got to pay attention, you know, and have your camera handy. Take your camera with you everywhere you go or your phone. If you've got a phone, should go with you everywhere you go. I can see a fish moving over there. You know, there's little fish around here. There's little, there was little, uh, little crustaceans, like a little, little prawn kind of things over there with the turtle and uh, a hermit crab. And it's just, it's just amazing. So pay attention when you're out in nature because you never know what you'll find. I'm Barry Callister of Barry Callister Photography and Photographer's Freedom. Get out there, take some wicked shots. I'll see you soon. Bye.